Oh yeah, R2 is pretty badass! <laughs> Woo! Love old tracks of Bobby the Wolf Mullins, your paranormal shock jock, your DJ, the outlaw, the number one bad boy in paranormal. <laughs> and as always, that's right, my co-host R2D2. Uh, let me give my disclaimer right quick. Uh, if you don't like what you see, you don't like what you hear, the topics, the language, the equipment. Yeah, he's sexy. He knows it. Sexy and you know it. <laughs> anyway, my, uh, then, uh, like I said, turn me off. But if you like what you see, you like what you hear, the topics, the language, or the... That's right. Look, she's better looking than you. It's okay. You'll live. The equipment. Then, my God, and you know the words. Come on. Sing along. Turn me on. <laughs> uh, you're listening to Kick Axe. Uh, an album called Vices. Kick ass, kick axe, whatever. Um, let's get started. I'm, I'm drinking. We're not doing bad beer today. We're not doing taste testing. We're drinking Red Eyed Rockers. All right, Red Eyed Rockers. And as you can tell, my buddy has brought me a Keith Stone. I party with Keith Stone. You know, the guy with the mullet. Ball, oh, speaking of ball caps. <laughs> Boss man gave me a ball cap. It's a really nice one. I think I'll wear it during the show today. Uh, yeah, Spirit Wolf gave me a ball cap the other day. I don't know actually how I acquired it, but I know it's his. So we're going to wear it today in the show. It's a nice cap. Oh, and by the way, uh, hope everyone had a safe Halloween. Uh, everybody liked the last episode. Uh, it was really good. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right, look, here was the deal, guys. Apparently all the brothers got together, at least the ones who wanted to show up. Get a drink on this. I'll get tanked if I want to. Anyway, the brothers got together because we had one, his dad died. And, all right, look, his name's Nightwolf. Really good friend of mine. Um, his dad died last Sunday. Now, I know I didn't do a show and all that. And, uh, I had to recoup my thoughts and heal up. Let's just say me and Nightwolf, let's just say the brothers scrapped a little bit. We drank hard. We fight hard. We play hard. It's just what the hex this does. And Nightwolf, much respect to you, brother. All right. Now, what we're going to do here on Wolf Tracks is what we always do. All right. I'm going to cut this music off. We're going to pause it. We're going to have a moment of silence for Nightwolf's dad. And uh, may he rest in peace. That one's for you, brother. Well, let's get back to the show, shall we? You'll be missed. You got a son down here that loves you. Uh, a couple of daughters, some grandkids. You left a hell of a lineage behind, brother. Uh, me and you really never saw eye to eye. But uh, you got respect from the old wolf. I'm just letting you know you got respect from the wolf. You, oh, you got another son, too. I forgot Nightwolf's got a brother, brother and two sisters, I think. Anyway, uh, an ass load of grandkids. Uh, so the old Night Wolf lineage will keep going. All right, you know, shit, I need another one of those. What do you think? Use this one? Okay, I got you, I got you. Got you. Uh. Uh, another bird's like beer. Keep up with the wolf. All right, a little... Watch this to she's tired and says, Sire sauce. <laughs> Add the beer. It's a riot. It's a riot. But yeah. Oh, oh, hey. Uh, we almost forgot our two Star Wars. We almost forgot Star Wars, R2. Ooh, this one's got a hell of a head on it. We almost forgot the whole. Yeah, I know. We almost forgot. Look, we are Star Wars fans here on Wolf Tracks. Woo! Force Awakens. December. 40 days away. Ah, shit, that's close. I mean, that's good. Yeah, yeah and what I'm going to try to do, <laughs> I'm going to try to go to the movie theater dressed like this so everybody can see, you know, the old, the old wolf. I got all my shit on. I want rings, necklaces. I have technical difficulties here on wolf tracks. Uh, always, always technical difficulties on wolf tracks. Anyway, I'm going to try to bring R2 with me. 
get a couple of concessions people to talk to me while I'm videoing it. Maybe post it up on Wolf Tracks. My YouTube page, why not? You know, what the hell? Me and Archie are going to go see Star Wars. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to go see Star Wars. <laughs> so, <laughs> we might not go open at night. Well, we might go and talk to a bunch of the 501 or whoever. <laughs> but, we're going to have a good time nonetheless. Uh, oh, by the way, we're making the red-eyed rocker. I ain't saying get up on these nuts. I'm just saying, beer time! All right, look. Also, I did something a while back. It's called the Tool Award. And uh, we're going to do a Tool Award today. It's just when they strike me funny. When people are idiots, basically. Uh, there is a guy named Stephen Joseph. And he I'm not saying he's an idiot. I'm just saying... You might want to rethink what you say. Hey, you no, give you an idea. We are in the U.S. of A., the great country of America. Not America. Not M E R I C. It's America. There's an A for all you king morons that call it America. Okay? I don't speak Walmart. Okay? Get it? I don't speak fucking Walmart. It's America, you bunch of weird trailer park. Ghetto mother... Yeah, it's our America, you jackasses. Anyway, this tool award, right here, the biggest tool, uh, goes to a guy named Stephen Joseph. Looks kind of like a transvestite joker. He's telling everybody that you're dumb if you hate somebody. Well, considering you live in the U.S. of A., our America, uh, it's a free country. So you're allowed to fucking hate anybody you want. There's no law. There's no... You're born free, jackass. That's why you're wearing white makeup, purple lipstick, and a green wig. And you're a dude. Okay? You're free to wear that shit. I'm free to wear this goofy shit. R2's free to wear his bandana. You know? That's right. He can have a rebel flag bandana on if he fucking wants to. Because it's a free fucking country. That means you can hate... Or like, or dislike, or kind of like, or whatever, whoever the fuck you want to. So if you don't like, let's see, let's run the list, shall we? If you don't like people from another country, you don't have to. If you don't like people of another color, you don't have to. If you don't like people from a different, uh, that have a different sexual preference, fucking A, you don't have to. If you don't, you don't like someone's religion, you don't have to. That's the amazing... Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to like it. You're in America. You're in the USA. Free country. Okay? Freedom of speech. Freedom to pursue happiness. You do... You pay taxes. I mean, you have to do that. Follow the laws. But you're a free person. You don't have to... There, it, I don't have... I, I, look, I ain't going down the fucking street and shaking hands with every motherfucker I meet because... I have to like them. No. I don't have to like everybody. <laughs> so this Stephen Joseph guy says you're dumb for hating someone. And you're even duller if you're hating somebody because your buddy hates them. What if your buddy knows something you don't? What if he got his ass kicked by this guy? Or girl. Or girl got her ass kicked by this girl. And she or he doesn't like him for that reason. Well, fuck. It's probably a good idea you don't like him either don't like somebody because of their race, color, religion, sexual preference, uh, 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 belief, and you're dumb. But really? Dude, look, hey, really? Tool Lord. I'm just saying, Tool Lord. You get the Tool Lord. Yeah, he gets the Tool Lord. He gets the Tool Lord. All right, look, we're going to get back to the show now. Damn, I'm digging this hat. I look pretty good in this motherfucker. I look kind of sexy. Anyway, we're going to get back to the show. Some more drinking, some more R2. And uh, that's right, buddy. Oh, it's so good. God, it's so fucking good. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the show. We're going to look. I know I said on one of my other shows about the media thing, how it, uh, it has a way to obscure the truth behind UFOs and all that, all that shit. Well, here you go. Let me get to the picture. This is the picture that Channel 5 or 3 local news team in Memphis put up to scare the general populace. 
Let it focus in. See the saucer in the clouds? See that? Okay, they, they showed this on the evening news. Last week, sometime, or week last week. I, I, you know, anyway, it was brought to my attention. Now, <laughs> thanks to a little research and development, <laughs> research and development, you know. anyway, thanks to a little research and development, and a phone call to a friend of mine named Regina, who helped me research this, we found out it's fake. Uh, that little picture you see, this picture is actually an app for your fucking iPhone to put a saucer in any picture you want. So now, why would the Channel 5 or 3, why would the Evening News do that? Look, people, disclosure's coming. I'm just letting you know. Disclosure's coming. There's too many people walking around with one of these. Okay? Too much shit getting filmed. Too many pictures being taken. Too many things getting caught on camera that weren't supposed to get caught. Okay? Let me show you. Let me show you something. I got more shit. I got more shit. I'm just letting you know. All right. Now, I want you to see this. This was over, I believe, Australia. Now, I, we're going to have to... <clears throat> there's no really no sound on this. But I want you to see this. Let's see here. Let's get it to play. Watch where it comes from and where it goes. You'll see a refraction of light on what looks like a trailer. But you see that thing streaking across the sky? They don't know what the hell that is. Okay? And wait. Wait for it. There's more. I mean, they're going to slow it down and show an after picture. A trail of what this leaves. And, it, I mean, it's, it's crazy. See how fast it was? Now, some are saying it's a shooting star, but a shooting star don't leave a trail like that. Look at that trail. Look at that trail. Isn't that crazy? See that trail? A bunch of, like, consecutive dots over a uh, trail. It reminds me It reminds me of the, the uh, uh, string of pearls that that supposed jet, that top secret uh, named after a bird. I got no fucking clue what it's called. Uh, but ufologists and uh, uh, conspiracy theorists have speculated there's a jet that the U.S. is working on that can travel from one side of our country or around the world, whatever, in five minutes or so. I don't know. Some crazy astronomical or incredible speed. I've been drinking. so me. Fuck off. That's what I'm saying. I've been drinking. I've been pre-gaming all day. So eat it. Damn, I love Red Eye Rockers. Anyway, this band is pretty kick ass. Anyway, now, so that plane or spy plane or whatever leaves a, a, a vapor trail of uh, what they call a string of pearls. That kind of looked like that. Um, when I talk about how it's hard for us to prove stuff, I found something else. Watch this. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a black dot where that yellow arrow is. Now, this is from the rover on Mars. See the black dot? They magnified it. Now, the weird thing about this black dot is it moves. And it's in the horizon of Mars. It was just a clip taken by the rover. Okay? This black dot changes um, level in the horizon. And supposedly, if you download this, you can magnify it and all that mess. But it's an object. It's not a, a, a star or a shooting star or a meteor or whatever because it's hovering. That's the crazy thing. Now, this is what one of the rovers caught. Okay? So, like I said, disclosure's coming. But now, I can't prove that that was a real video. I can't prove that some asshole with a nice special effects department didn't build a set with a rover and click a picture. You know, they're, they're, you can fool the human eyes. And until we can go there ourselves and see it ourselves, there's no way to prove it. That's where they got us by the cojones. That's where they got us. Because we can't just jump in the Jetson mobile and fly to the nearest yeah, the nearest planet and, and literally uh, uh, just check stuff out, you know? Hang on. I think I'm catching a cold for my uh, youngest son. Anyhow, so, I mean, that's kind of crazy. I mean, is it real? Is there an object floating around Mars aside from the moons, whatever? 
I mean, supposedly during the Apollo mission, the first one, there was like three, four minutes of audio that the ham radio guys picked up that said they're watching us. They're lined up on a crater. There's craft everywhere. So, I mean, I think it's narrow-minded of us to think that we're the only ones. So, I believe there's stuff out there, intelligent beings, we'll say, that can do more or the same or more than what we do. So, that, that's kind of the point I was trying to make is that because of these fucking things, you never can tell. Damn it. Oh, yeah. oh something else is kind of neat. We had an event happen that, uh, and this is just recently, they uh, observed a black hole spitting out something. See that? That's a black hole. That's three pictures of the black hole spitting an object out. It's x-rays. It's a lot of x-rays, they said. Well, the problem with this is a black hole doesn't spit anything out. It, it devours everything. And, and scientists worldwide can't figure out why it did it. Maybe the people from the movie Black Hole finally made it through. <laughs> but anyway, that's an actual shot, I believe, from one of our, our big telescopes, like the Hubble. And it's on that weird spectrum so we can see the black hole. Because you can't see a black hole with the naked eye. It's got to be in a certain spectrum. Um, I, uh, I don't know how come or why it, it will be escaped. Uh, it would be neat to figure that out. Because, then, oh man, can you imagine the thrust or, or the, the, the thrust, the uh, the power it would take to get, escape a black hole? Alright. Oh. I've not had enough. Calm down. You gotta be in the know. Anyway, we're going to talk about another, uh, uh, something else. Blah, 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 blah. After I make this red eyed rocker. Hold on, sound the week. God, I love that sound. Anyway, we're going to talk about Google Earth. Oh, how boring is that? I know, right? It's not boring. They're finding all kind of crazy shit with Google Earth. Now, give me a break. I didn't get a chance to get a photo of all of it. Assholes. But you know, I mean that with every term of endearment and love and blah blah. Uh, oh, God, nothing burns like beer. Anyway, man, shake up the old, shake the tomatoes. Yeah, I love the red eyed rocker. Boy's gonna get shitty. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Oh, I had to use an ink pen to stir with. I'm redneck. Oh, shit. All right, now, here's to all my Wolf Tracks fans. May your hunts be good. May your sight be keen and your ears pick up everything. <laughs> may your prey, may your prey be hard to catch. And you be the better to catch them. <laughs> yes, to the victor goes the spoils. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about Google Earth. That's right, Google Earth. I'm making a mess here on old Wolf Tracks. All right. One of my fans named John brought it up that um, he was talking about these uh, areas that are found on Google Earth that are unexplained. All right. Let's uh, go with that, shall we? I got pictures. All right. Here's, um, here's a pyramid structure in China near a base. All right, that's just something we do. It's a pyramid. All right, this is also in China. This structure was found in China due to Google Earth and some weird grid map. They don't know what the hell it is. They tried to match it up to cities, street locations, like they're going to do a missile attack or who knows. It's probably just an ancient city of some sort. Now, this is a spiral on the ground. Since it comes to focus, that was found. Now, whether that's man-made or not, I I have no idea. I couldn't find any research on it. Um, this is funny. This is funny. On Google Earth, there is actually an island. All right, if you can see that. It's man-made, okay? But somebody made an island or a sandbar into a question mark. A large question mark. The Riddler's Sacred Base. 
Batman now knows thanks to Google Earth. Uh, here's some uh, other structures. Uh, let's see here. Hey, hey, stop, stop. This one's neat. I like this one. This I did a story on this one. A lady was lost, used her GPS, Google Earth, whatever, to figure out where she was. The little green arrow you're going to see is where she was standing. Around her is what was on the ground. It's supposed to be the Badlands Protector or something. It's an Indian thing that the Indians knew about. Those, those edges where the plume is in the face... Those edges are like 10, 12 feet tall. Okay, it was sculpted into the landscape as a face to be seen from above. Now, you mainstream th scientists can say, oh, rock formations did that. It's natural. No natural rock formation makes a face like that. I can understand the plume and the hair, but when you have a, a neckline with muscle structure, lips, look at the lips. And the nose and the eye. Look at the eye, for God's sake. There's no, no, nature didn't do that. I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, no, no. Man did that, or alien, or whatever the fuck. But it was meant to be seen from above. Sorry, mainstream scientists, you're full of shit. All right, let's see here. What's this? Oh, this is neat. All right. This is a shot of Area 51. Oh, we get the men in black at my house. But they built a pyramid. Why would you build a pyramid in Area 51? You know, I can tell you why. The Great Pyramid, they already know what the layout of the inside is. and They know it was a pulse generator underneath. They know it did some sort of X-ray or beta ray or something out those little chamber, uh, little ports inside. They knew the King's Chamber and the Queen's Chamber held some sort of chemical, created a, like a, a, a pulse uh, shaking type of thing to mix up this certain chemical, which they found the residue on the walls of the Great Pyramid inside. And there's no hieroglyphs on the inside, so it was a machine. And like I said on one of my other shows, thanks to me, I'm the first. Say it, okay? See, I'm pretty smart for a redneck who drinks a lot. If you want to see fucking aliens, cut the goddamn thing on. Put the chemical in. Start the pulse generator, unblock the chambers, and send the beams up. It'll it'll be a signal saying, "Hey, we're ready. Come get us, or come invade us, or whatever." That's what I'm saying. But anyway, that would be why Area 51 in China are building pyramids. They're gonna cut the some bitches on. I bet bet money. I bet money on that deal. Oh, this is neat. This is a crater on the moon. All right, there's a red circle, and I'll show you. That's the crater. On our moon. Now, I'll show you what's in the red circle. This will blow your fucking mind. This is in the red circle. As soon as I get this turn, that's in the red circle. Now look at the oval or pill shaped cutout on that. Really? That's natural. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not natural. That's, no. That's not natural. That's a slit or a hole cut into the ground by someone's hands. Now, whether they have three fingers, four fingers, one finger, <laughs> or five, somebody cut that hole in the ground. Oh, here you go. Here you go. It's Mars surface, I think. I believe this is the Mars surface. Since we had the face on, on yeah, I showed the Indian face. Check that shit out. I'll give you a minute to process what that is. It's a face for all you people who are drinking like me and can't decipher it. Speaking of drinking. Damn, it's so good. It's so damn good. Oh, my God, it's so fucking good. And here, here's the old face on Mars. This is what they caught way back in the 70s. Let me get that to where it shows up. There you go. But that's what the satellite caught and the picture in black and white, blah, blah, blah. They said it was a light show. Uh, play on lights. Uh, they said it was a light shadow game. Um, and this was, this was caught on our our, <laughs> our planet. Hey, look, a pentagram. Motley Crue's been there. It's Motley Crueville! But anyway, that, that's a structure on our planet. Um, here's some uh, ruins in Egypt. 
that were found by Google Earth that apparently underground. Speaking of that, they found 13 more pyramids underground in Egypt, which I, I also have a theory about that, that the Orion Belt thing, actually, if you lay out the entire constellation, you would find other pyramids or key locations. So, that face on Mars, apparently it's not there anymore. Did y'all know that uh, one of the rovers went offline and exploded? You know it's nuclear, right? It's got a nuclear power plant in that rover. So when it goes boom, it really goes boom. They say that it went boom on the face to destroy it so there would be no more pictures. So there's no proof that there was life on Earth. Ah, uh, Mars. Sorry, I'm a drink. Because if you see a picture of it now, it looks like a pile of rubble. Yeah, all right. Here's another structure or something on the ground that we didn't notice, but we got it from Google Earth. Kind of like a, a, a rebel flag or just an X, a uh, square or something. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. This is neat. I like this. In Japan, there's these keyhole burial sites. Uh, from space, they look like keyholes. Uh, uh, like the like hole with the old uh, uh, skeleton key. That's it, the old skeleton key. But it's a round top and then like a semi-triangle. Well, this is those keyholes. Now, on your right, or my right, on my right, is the one on Earth. The one on the left is the one on Mars. Okay? The one on the left, the one on the, let me rephrase that. The one on my right is the one on Earth, the green one. The one that looks rocky and brownish orange and all that, that's the one on fucking Mars. Really? All right, here's something that's neat. This is on Mars. This is the face and the layout of the pyramid and the city structure they found. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hope you can see that. I'm trying to get the focus on that. This fucking camera's being a dick. But anyway, there's that. And here's here's another picture of it. There's a city. Now, maybe I can get this. There we go. See all the all the structures in there, pyramids, city, remnants of such thing. Anyway, that's all I got. But I didn't have time to get all of them. But I hope that it's, I hope that brings a little light to what we found. I mean, we've used Google Earth uh, on Mars or Moon. You can spend days uh, uh, just looking at shit, entering in random coordinates, you know. Uh, but it, there are things on our planet we still don't know about. There, off the, off the coast of California, there is an underwater structure. They say it's a base. Now, whether it's alien or us, they say it's a base. Go figure. We found it on Google Earth. They built the satellite to let us map the planet. Now people are using it to see what the governments don't want us to see. Go figure, right? Go fucking figure. I'm trying. So, R2 was wondering, uh, did that answer your question, John? I hope that answered your question about the objects and structures found on Earth due to Google Earth and, well, Mars and Moon and all that. <sighs> oh, God, that feels good. I'll have a of beer. Speaking of that, I need another one. But, yeah, um, about three or four squirts of this in a jar. One beer. Uh oh, it's out of the week. It's out of the week. It's out of the week. All right, here we go. I love that sound. Oh, yeah, I love that sound. Yeah, we love that sound. No, we are too. But anyway, you know, to recap the show, hope everyone had a safe Halloween. You know, tested all the children's candy for all the chocolate. Um,. Oh, I was doing good, you know. I'll text him later, see if he's doing okay. But uh, two awards, I'm going to give them out. I won't send you the tool because you're already the biggest tool we know. Yeah, so far the uh, George Norrie narrator on the George Norrie Facebook page is probably one of the biggest tools I know. Uh, but uh, and then we get into uh, Mr. Uh, Transvestite Joker, who thinks everyone should love everyone. 
not possible, number one. Number two, you're in America, so it's a free country, and we don't have to like anybody we don't want to like. Uh, structures on the planet. I hope that explained it. I hope it boggled the mind. I hope you research this more on your own. As, as fans of Wolf Tracks, I know you'll go, wait a second, I want to see these for myself. Let me find them. Yeah, it's easy. Just go to Google Earth and start typing shit in. Uh, Badlands uh, uh, Protector or whatever is one of the, a good place to start. Uh, that's a that's a hell of a thing. That Indian face with the headdress. A hell of a picture to blow your mind. Uh, you can always do Nazca. Nazca, fucking crazy shit. On Nazca. Um, you can look at the pyramids, all kind of shit. But anyhow. Like I said, I hope that answers some of y'all's questions. Uh, yeah, I got a haircut. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> uh, real world job. Yeah, a real world job makes the old world get a haircut. But thank God the pay is good. So anyway, guys. I'm going to get off here. I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, if you got any questions or comments or whatever look hit like at the bottom down here you know on the show buzz thing on youtube and subscribe and all that shit help a brother out you know the millions and mi i think i'm up to 14 fans now whatever who cares i drink this is fun it's free and youtube i don't get paid for this oh i forgot sorry show is brought to you by true fix make your stacker hip stacker pick out also if you live in the memphis area or Lake area. Uh, check out Barth Wade elect, uh, Electrical Services. If you have wiring issues, he'll help you uh, for a fee. <laughs> he doesn't do the shit for free. But anyway, look, I'm going to get off here, guys. Remember, send all your comments, questions, and whatever. Hell, post them to YouTube. There's a comment section right below. Let me know if I suck. Let me know if I rock. Uh, you know, whatever. You know, post your I don't give a shit. You know, me and the wolf don't care. Because uh, I'm drinking anyway. Me and R2 are going to... That's right, me and R2 are going to get hammered. Nothing like drinking with a droid. Oh, God. Whew. Anyway, uh, and, and email me at 1YWolf0706 at att.net. And you can always get a hold of me on uh, Facebook. Bobby Mullins. B-O-B-B-Y... M U L L I N S. And as always, guys, I'm going to get off here. Remember, pay attention what walks by, crawls by, flies by, and or slithers by. And if you get a picture of it, send old Bobby the Wolf Mullins at 1WhiteWolf0706 at ATT.net. Uh, just. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I've been drinking. Yeah, I'm enjoying talking to you guys. I forgot something. Oh, yeah. oh the doll oh, closed. Yeah, well, I was busy drinking. Apparently, R2 wants me to do the closure. Uh, all right, here we go. On three guys Udo, Rose, Trace. Holla at your boy! Woo!